Hey guys, welcome back to Rockford Ordinance. I'm Chris, your host, and today we're going to bring you an update on one of our favorite rifles. It is an Arsenal SLR 107R. Um, if you've watched the other video on it, you probably saw that I was a, just a little disappointed um, with the rifle and wanted to give you an update and tell you that I'm happy to report that things are going much better with it and I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, I got this a few years ago. I was impressed with my SLR 107 FR, uh, the Krebs rifle. Um, granted, it's a Krebs, but very impressed. And I thought, you know, why not get a fixed stock version? I like fixed stocks. Um, they were affordable at the time and I thought, uh, it'll be, you know, just as good. Um, let's talk about real quick what it, uh, we covered in the other video. Um, I had some issues with the bolt hitting uh, the top of the trunnion as it came forward and stopping the gun. I had some issues with a front canned sight and I thought, you know, it's not uh, a $700 rifle. It's uh, closer to a thousand dollar rifle and for that I shouldn't have to fix those issues. Well, when you're in the heat of things and a new gun's not running and you got to straighten sights, you get a little salty. And once those were fixed and now we've had a chance to put, I, I'm going to, I don't keep perfect track, but I'm going to guesstimate somewhere between two and three thousand rounds through. Um, I'm really liking the gun. Um, the way it's set up, how light it is. It's the lightest of all my rifles. And uh, the way I set it up is really nice. Um, we did the Mission First Tactical Stock on it, um, the Minimalist. I've got a Primary Arms uh, red dot on it with an RS Regulate mount, and it's the forward, uh, I forget what they call it, forward. It's more forward than the regular one, okay? Uh, I left, this was a plum, one of their plum versions, and I kind of wanted to leave it, but I really wanted M4, so I left the plum grip. Um, we've got a TDI Arms uh, lower handguard on it with a BCM uh, forward vertical grip and a Meridian Defense uh, BB2 brake on it. Uh, oh, almost forgot the uh, cheese grater uh, top cover. Anyhow, um, super light, really maneuverable, great rifle. Um, it was easy to get the sights lined up, no problem. Um, so that was easy. Um, if you remember, we had to do just a touch of filing on the bolt to get it to not hit the trunnion. I'm going to show you real quick where it was hitting so you guys understand and I'll show some close-up pictures too. But as the bolt was coming forward, so you can see as the bolt was coming forward, when it got to the trunnion right here, maybe if I flip it around it'll be easier. As it got to the trunnion right here, due to uh, the rail, due to maybe some upward lift on the bolt. The uh, lug right here was riding a little high and it would hit the trunnion right here and stop it, stop it dead. You could push down on the bolt a little and it would slam home. So that's what was happening. Um, it, Peened the trunnion a little bit. Not bad. As a matter of fact, I left it alone. I wanted to see what it would do, if it would progress or anything like that. But once I take a look here at this bolt, um, right here on the top front of the lug, um, I just kind of angled it a little. So as it came into that trunnion, it would hit the angle and ride in. And you see that on a lot of Yugoslavian rifles and all different rifles. They'll put a little angle on that lug uh, so it rides in there. 
Left everything alone. Uh, right before I did this video, I took a file to where it had peened the trunnion. Literally four half inch strokes and the little bit of rollover was gone. You can't really even tell that it did anything. And I'll tell you what, the reason I'm doing this video is we went out and shot it yesterday. We put, well, we shot a bunch of rifles. We shot uh, the RPK, we shot this, we shot the Mini Draco, and we shot the NPAP. And between them all, we put about six or 700 rounds through them. Uh, took my son out and friend, uh, my daughter's uh, boyfriend, and uh, we just had a blast. I let them pick the rifles they wanted to shoot, and that's what they wanted to shoot. We took them out and they had a blast. And this just happened to be one of them. Uh, so I was shooting this and I couldn't get over how smooth this rifle had smoothed out. Like any AK, things wore in. And I, it's great. I mean, it's just smooth. Um, everything's just working as it should. We had no failures whatsoever. The gun ran flawlessly. Um, it's super easy to get on target fast and uh, just had a great time with it. Well, at least they work. But you can see how smooth it's just glass. The ALG trigger has worked out phenomenally. Uh, if you look in here, uh, you'll see that there's nowhere. I'll show some pictures. Um, the tail on the bolt carrier, nowhere whatsoever. Uh, the bolt uh, all the way around is wearing really nicely on um, the lugs, nice and even. Uh, just everything is working out great. Um, I was going to check the trigger pull here on the ALG we installed. We just put an EL in there, not the, the UL, the ultimate. We just put the regular one in there. And when these things wear in a little bit, guys, they get even lighter. And if you don't like a light trigger, stay away from them. But they are the smoothest, best trigger on the market, in my opinion. Uh, let's see what we get here. Under two pounds, about a pound and three quarters. That's with no work on my end. Let's do it a couple more times. Let's see, one more. Uh, again, one and three quarters. Let's do it one more time. one and three quarters on the EL. Magnificent. Guys, we've also had some questions come up about the peening on the rivet in the bottom of the receiver. Uh, peening due to the ALG uh, trigger uh, and having the disconnector hit it. And just happy to report that uh, no significant peening whatsoever. Um, ALG, you know, with their changes has handled that and uh, it's no longer an issue. Um, I wouldn't worry about taking down any of the tail or taking that rivet down. Um, like I said, 3,000 rounds, this thing's still going strong. So uh, I'll tell you, i show you the picture here and uh, you can see for yourself. Anyways, guys, I couldn't be happier with how this gun turned out. Um, they're getting a little scarce. I just looked last night. There's some available at KVAR. However, they're no longer 900 bucks. They're like 1200 bucks, I think. But uh, might be a nice thing for you to look, uh, look at. It's an upgrade from some of the $700 rifles out there for sure. Um, did lose a little bit of finish up here on the barrel. I'm not too worried about it. We're going to do a refinish video when I get around to it. But just wanted to bring it to you, show it to you, give you an update, tell you how happy I am with it. And we're going to keep shooting it. So, 
As always, please like, please subscribe, button down there in the corner. Thanks for everything, guys. Rockford Ordinance, out.